Imagine a world where plants grow without soil, floating in the air like magic. Now, snap back to reality and meet hydroponics, the soil less contender in the ring against traditional farming. This is not just a comparison. It's a showdown between the past and the future of agriculture. Let's kick off with traditional farming. It's the classic, the original, the way we've been growing food since the dawn of civilization. You know the drill. Soil, water, sun, and a whole lot of patience. But is old really gold? Let's find out. Now, enter hydroponics, the new kid on the block. Soil? Who needs it? These plants are living life on the edge, suspended in nutrient-rich solutions, basking under LED lights. It's like a sci-fi movie, but in your backyard. But here's the twist. It's not about which is better. It's about understanding their strengths and weaknesses. So, buckle up as we dive deep into this epic battle of farming techniques. Let's talk space and efficiency. Traditional farming is like a sprawling epic. It takes acres and acres of land. Hydroponics? It's the compact, fast-paced thriller. Less space, faster growth. It's like putting your farm on fast forward. Water usage, it's a big deal. In traditional farming, water is like a free-flowing river. In hydroponics, it's a carefully measured cup. Hydroponics uses up to 90% less water. That's not just saving. That's a water revolution. Now, yield. The make or break. Hydroponics is like a steroid for plants. Faster growth, higher yield. It's like traditional farming on an espresso shot. More crop cycles, more food, all year round. But wait, there's a catch. Hydroponics needs power, for pumps, lights, and all that jazz. Traditional farming? It's got the sun and the wind. When it comes to energy, old school has the upper hand. Pests and pesticides, the bane of every farmer's existence. Traditional farming is like an open invitation to crop-killing critters. Hydroponics? It's like a members-only club. Less pests, less pesticides, healthier eating. Let's not forget about the taste. Some say traditional farming wins here, with its earthy flavors and natural growth. But hydroponics is closing in, with constant improvements in nutrient mixes. The taste test? It's still a heated debate. Cost is where things get tricky. Traditional farming is like an old car, cheaper to start, but costs add up. Hydroponics? It's the shiny new Tesla, expensive upfront, but cheaper in the long run. But what about the environment? Traditional farming is like a heavyweight, leaving a big carbon footprint. Hydroponics is lighter on the earth, reducing land use and soil erosion. It's not just farming, it's eco-friendly farming. So, who wins this epic showdown? The answer isn't simple. It's like comparing a classic novel to a high-tech ebook. Both have their place, their fans, and their purpose. In the end, it's not about hydroponics versus traditional farming. It's about combining the best of both worlds. It's about a sustainable future where we grow more with less, where technology meets tradition, and where every plant, soil grown or not, contributes to feeding our ever-growing world.